When I started uh, doing television in Miami in 1959, I wore a tr traditional jacket tie. And then uh, as, as time evolved, I started wearing a half sweater. I was more comfortable in it. Uh, I'm not a suit kind of guy. Uh, so I started wearing one of those sweaters, cut it on a full sweater, half sweater. And that's what I wore initially on CNN. If you see the early CNN shows, I wore some nights a jacket, most nights a half sweater. Then I had heart surgery and lost a lot of weight. And my ex-wife Sharon and I were having dinner one night and she said, you know, you're much trimmer, you look good. You ever tried suspenders? I never wore suspenders in my life, never. She went, you ought to try it. It might be a nice look. I tried it and uh, one night put suspenders on and uh, some people called in and said, boy, that looks good and that's all you had to hear. And I've worn them ever since. Oh, they come from a variety of ways. Uh, people send them to us. I pick them out myself. Some of my producers pick them out. We have a whole bunch of shirts in the LA office, in the Washington office, and the New York office with braces. So when I travel, it's made very easy. I don't, tr I don't carry any shirts, I don't carry any braces. And then I get there every night and we pick out what color looks best. Sometimes they'll try to say, you know, if you're doing a show on Valentine's Day, you're gonna wear red, you know, that kind of thing. We try to keep it though, it's all in form that the colors match. I spoke once at, uh, <laughs> in Syracuse at some giant event of about 10,000 people, it was immense. I do a lot of speaking. I do, in fact, entertaining. I did Vegas, I go. But I like to make people laugh and I like to, so anyway, I got up to speak and as they introduced me, the whole audience took their males, took their jackets off and they were all wearing suspenders. That was a way to tell you, you know, you really kind of hit it.